Hi everyone, in this video we have grade 6 page 89, 4.7, patterns in sequences. We talk about sequences in this lesson. We have two kind of questions here. For example, we have a sequence. Sequence means some numbers after each other. We have a rule for that. By a rule, we can find the next numbers. From these numbers, we can find the rule or if the rule is given and asked you to write the sequence in this one find the next two terms each one of them is one term this is the first term second term third fourth term we need to find two more terms but at first we have to find the rule the rule from these numbers we will find out always we have the operations multiply divide plus minus we have these four one of them is used for this one 5 to 20 when the number getting greater it means it's one of the plus or multiply when the numbers getting greater it means it's addition or multiply 5 multiply what would be 20 it must be the same thing if it's multiply 4, it must be multiply 4, it must be mul multiply 4. If we say 5 multiply 4 equals 20, then it must be the same thing. 20 multiply 4 must be equal to that number. But is it? No, it's not. So it means it's not multiply. It's not multiply by 4 because 20 multiply 4 is not 35. So we think about addition. We think about plus. What added to this number to make it 20 plus 15? 5 plus 15 equals 20. Let's see, do we have the same change? Again, 20 plus 15 equals 35. Yes, for the next step. 35 plus 15 equals 50. So for the next term, now we can find 50 plus 15 equals 65, the next term. The term after that, again, plus 15. 65 plus 15 equals 80. So the next two terms are 65 and 80. How we could find? By finding the rule at first, then using the same rule to find others. This one, 800 and change to 400. 400 change to 200 to 100, like that. So it means when the number is getting smaller, it means it's divide or subtract, one of them. If we say minus 400, it must be minus 400 equal that number minus 400 equal that number but it's not true but if we say divide by 2 it can be used for all of them 800 divided by 2 equals 400 400 divided by 2 equals 200 200 divided by 2 equals 100 so the next number 100 divided by 2 you can find the next term and the other one 50 again divide by 2 equals 25 that's how you can find the next terms for this one tells you this is the rule just find just write the terms write the sequence in this case normally we write four numbers four numbers tells you start with what start with 100 and what's the change? Subtract 3, minus 3. Minus 3 for the next term, it should be 97. Minus 3 for the next term, 97 minus 3. Again, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. Keeps going because the rule is subtract 3. And even if we want to write the other terms, again, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. 
as it does, but normally we write four terms, it's enough. For the other one, start with five, the first number, the first term must be five, then multiply by three. Multiply by three equals 15. Then for the next term, this number again multiply by three. The rule is multiply by three. 45 the other one multiply by 3 it would be 135 if you couldn't know multiply this one in one side 45 multiply by 3 equals how much equals 135 that's how we can find the rule and the next terms that's how if we have the rule how we can write the squares according to the rule. That's all about this lesson. Thanks for watching.